Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. The sun is starting to gain some momentum as we're still in solar cycle 25. But here recently, we were inside the, the stream of high-speed solar wind coming from this large coronal hole that was spacing the Earth that was temporarily shaped like a butterfly, of all things. This sparked a G3, a surprising G3 geomagnetic storm. The storm is subsiding now, but here's a look at the, the planetary K index. You can see that the, the energy swarmed the Earth for the better part of 12 to 15 hours, creating a G3 and, and sparking auroras all around the, the northern hemisphere, but not limited to the northern hemisphere. There were auroras seen down in New York, northern Arkansas, southern Minnesota, Colorado. Obviously, Canada was in the mix. You can see a, a couple of beautiful photos here sent in by Christine Bergen out of Canada from, from last night. Bright green auroras were dancing around the, the northern hemisphere article over here at spaceweather.com talking about the the stream of fast moving solar wind that collided with the earth on September 14th sparking an unexpectedly strong G3 geomagnetic storm auroras once again seen as far south as as northern arkansas southern colorado this was quite a surprise said lori from up in ontario this is a photo they sent in to spaceweather.com very cool stuff in fact i received more photos from from different people this photo here was sent in out of central Wisconsin by, by Matt Woltman. Great photo coming out of Wisconsin. Photos here containing red, purple, green, light green. Another photo here sent in by Wendy Hayes. Not sure of the location. I also think she was up in the, the Canada area. Also showing the same colors. Red, light green, even dark green. This next photo was sent in by Mike Kennedy. Also out of Canada. I received several photos. Here's a photo out of Ohio. The sky looked purple and light green. Green. Photos showing up from all around the world. Even received some rare video footage that I'm going to share with you guys in, in tomorrow's video. Here's a, a photo out of Brown City, Michigan, sent in by, by Benjamin Tarswell. Thank you for the photos, guys. Really appreciate it. Update on Comet Swan 25B and the star Spica. Check out this absolutely stunning photo taken by Gerald Riemann out of Namibia. Here we go. This is a new comet that just snuck out from behind the sun check out the tail on this thing unbelievably huge and there's the star spica there's the the big comet i do have an update on on comet atlas the interstellar traveler this thing here i believe the the origins are also unknown they don't know where this thing came from it just popped out from behind the sun and it's quite large the other object that we're talking about comet atlas the the interstellar traveler that's visiting our solar system from another star once again i have an update on that i'll share with you guys tomorrow coming over here to the home page of the website looking at the, the current conditions over here at the GOES X-ray Flux. Quiet the last three days. In fact, quiet for the last week. The only activity that we've seen here recently is the, the large coronal hole that was facing the Earth that did indeed spark a geomagnetic storm as we were anticipating. But looking at the Earth-facing side of the sun, not a whole lot going on, guys. It's hard to believe that we're in the middle of solar maximum. There's the, the few sunspots that are turning towards the Earth. Those could grow and become bigger, but right now they are very, very small. Looking at the planetary K and there's the G3 geomagnetic storm lasting three hours. The entire geomagnetic storm that went from a, a three down to a two lasted 15 hours last night. Once again, sparking auroras all around the, the northern hemisphere. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, have a large video. It's a drop box drag and drop your videos into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.